Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another Walking Dead video. So I wanted to talk about some of the latest uh, information that we have for The Walking Dead Daryl Dixon Season 2. It's officially September now, so I guess it's kind of Halloween season now. That's, that's, that's whenever I start to celebrate Halloween. Like, usually in the past, I've tried to celebrate Halloween in, like, August and whatnot, but it's always a little difficult because it is still kind of summer, you know, and those were usually the years where I just really wasn't, uh, wasn't that excited about summer or anything like that. Uh, but this year, definitely... You know, I, I, I think the summer was uh, all right. You know, I think there was definitely some moments where it was really rough, but there was also some really, you know, amazing moments and whatnot. But I'm just really excited for the fall. I really am. I can't wait for Halloween season this year. I'm really excited for Daryl Dixon season two. And it seems like the promotion is really starting to pick up here because I, I've been seeing some stuff with The Walking Dead Daryl Dixon being promoted on Prime, which is very interesting because obviously it is on Prime. Well, it's on AMC Plus, which is on Prime. But like, I don't remember in previous years, or at least last year anyways, them promoting the show on Prime. So yeah, the fact that Prime is starting to promote that show and whatnot is actually, it's, it's really cool. I, I do wonder what AMC has in store for The Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon Season 2 in terms of promotion and whatnot this month because, yeah, it's officially September and the show is premiering this month. Finally, we're at that point where every single day that passes is just going to get a lot more exciting, right? So before going further, make sure to be a subscriber if you do want to get all my Walking Dead content like this. Like I was saying, Daryl Dixon is now being promoted on Prime. I believe it was like a trailer to show like all the shows coming out this month or something like that and it actually had footage in there from Daryl Dixon so very cool to actually see that and I've noticed a lot of articles being written about Daryl Dixon season two and just the walking dead in general so uh, that tells me that, yeah, it's because now they've noticed that there's a lot more interaction and whatnot with their articles. And so now they're like, well, I'm going to start posting more Walking Dead stuff, right? So now is sort of the time, I guess, where that stuff will start to pick up. I know the promotion has been picking up quite a bit over the last couple of weeks, but that's really more online stuff. It's more around right now, like since the show's premiering this month and, you know, summer's kind of over now. Everyone's just in that fall mindset now, right? So just going into uh, the, the, the fall season here, I mean, you're looking at like what's next like what's the new shows and all of that you know and everyone's back on like a routine which personally for me I'm definitely very excited about I, I that's the one thing that I don't like about summer is that in terms of a routine everything completely just falls off like I have a hard time doing this and that and now starting this week here I get to actually do everything at a normal time and everything's gonna be just on schedule and whatnot so yeah I'm really excited about that there was also a teaser that was released and I do want to talk about that of uh, I guess Carolyn Daryl's first reunion ever and we had Norman read us and Melissa McBride talking about the scene and uh, it was really cool because first of all I do like the fact that they are uh, giving us a lot of that I think like I think in terms of you know giving us behind the scenes stuff of their reunion and all that this is really the only time to focus on that right because going into season three next year there's not going to be any talk of any reunion it's just going to be whatever the story is going to be for season three so yeah focusing more on that aspect to it these characters reuniting for the first time uh, Daryl finding out about Rick and all of that which I will say I'll talk Talk about season three a little bit here. I'm not going to get into spoilers and all of that, but some stuff would make sense for Daryl to find out that Rick is alive. And um, yeah, just in terms of the story and whatnot, I think it actually makes a lot of sense. And so that is likely, you know, going to be something that Daryl does find out this season. And I will say in terms of all of that, like I was for a little bit wondering like, oh, you know, maybe Carol found out about this or that, or maybe she meant like this person came back or, or this and that. But after a lot of this stuff in terms of filming for season three, it kind of, I feel like hints that he found out about Rick I'm not saying anything too spoiler or anything I'm really just guessing but it just it makes a lot of sense and I think that in terms of the timeline it also makes a lot of sense as well like for Carol to have seen Rick and Michonne come back or maybe if she never saw them I mean I'm guessing Carol's gonna want to go and see them but maybe Carol wanted to wait for Daryl right for uh, her and Daryl to see Rick and Michonne for the first time that could be an aspect to it and I do feel like the rest of this series here is going to be focused on Daryl and Carol trying to get back home and to go and see Rick. Like, I really feel like that's going to be the, the whole point here. There's going to be other things that happen, I do think, throughout the next couple of seasons, obviously, like whenever the show ends, that prevents them from getting home, obviously. I've already seen some stuff from season three, and again, I don't like that I've seen a lot of this, and I'm not talking about any of it here. I'm not going to spoil anything here. But it looks like the direction for season three, at least one part of it, I was worried about. And then I've seen some stuff anyways where I'm like, you know what? This is really exciting. This is going to be really, really cool. And I'm interested in where they're going next for season three in terms of... Uh, 
uh, a villain and whatnot anyways. So, uh, yeah, I think that Daryl's going to find out from Carol that Rick's alive. I do think that's probably going to be something that does happen this season here. It's going to be probably a big moment that I feel like, you know, for Daryl, he's going to have a really hard time saying goodbye to, like, Isabel and Laurent and, and everyone. And I think that once he finds out about Rick, it'll be pretty easy at that point. Like, I think, obviously, he has this, like, connection that he's formed with Isabel and and with Laurent. But I, I think that in terms of Rick, like, to see him again and whatnot, like, that would make a big difference, right? Like, he really wants to see Rick. He thought Rick was dead for years and years. And so it makes sense that that would be the case. But who knows how season two ends? Isabel and Laurent, maybe they die. And so it's really easy in that sense for Daryl to make that decision right like i don't know where things are going to be going here i just know that the finale is supposed to be really insane so i'm expecting there to be a lot of deaths in in this season here like i do feel like a lot of characters are probably gonna die here and uh yeah i mean i think it, i think that makes a lot of sense but i also wanted to talk about before we get into some of the season three stuff and in terms of that reunion with daryl and carol in season five episode one i really like honestly i think i might go back and rewatch this episode because i was looking at you know just some of the scenes that they showed in that teaser and it's really cool to see daryl and carol back then and what things were like like honestly i, I really i missed that time i just missed that time on the walking dead where it, it really like you had no idea where any of the characters were going and like carol yes she's a character in the comic but at this point she already outlived her comic character right daryl is not a character in the comics and so like there was in terms of like character decisions and where characters were going we had no idea where the story was going obviously i think you could have assumed that they were going to be going to alexandria eventually and and all of that but you know at this point it was very hard to say where the story was going to be going overall and season five really was like you know the peak of the walking dead because that's the one thing with shows is that like it's never going to be on top forever you know and i feel like a lot of people might remember certain moments differently but what i actually remember about that time of the walking dead was it was the most popular around like season four like late season four going into season five like i remember the trailer for season five that was so so exciting and then watching the very first episode the first couple of episodes anyways because there was a lot of people that watched the walking dead during that like one year there mostly because of the excitement like everyone was watching the walking dead so like you had to you know check it out and everyone like binge watched the show around that time and so a lot of those bigger moments there like with rick and like the claimers and all of that like some really crazy moments that a lot of people heard about and then just decided to watch the show around that time and that's why those numbers were really really massive and in season five obviously the very first episode was like you know everyone checked it out but then afterwards it did slowly start to you know the ratings did drop drop afterwards and i think that's why in season six we got a lot of those cliffhanger moments because i think they were trying to recapture that and i think ever since then obviously the ratings have just been dropping even though i know the season seven premiere and all of that was like really insane in terms of ratings and stuff but again i think they were trying to recapture like like this moment here for the walking dead which no show is going to do that like no show is going to do that at all and i think that they really should have focused more on the story and not trying to shock people as much because you really i think hurt the walking dead in a lot of ways in terms of the cliffhanger scene anyways you know you just sort of hurt your ratings overall because afterwards a lot of people stopped watching you know i know a lot of people are saying stuff about glenn's death and i think that i mean i don't know i i think it was fine to be honest it happens in the comic and i mean have you not watched horror movies like that stuff happens all the time like but then there was carl's death which i still think was again at that time like the Walking Dead was competing with Game of Thrones and they were all doing like very shocking moments, this and that. So I just feel like a lot of those decisions were because of that. And that's why since then, really, it's almost like they went in, in a totally different direction where now every character is too safe, right? Though I, I would say with the spinoffs, they are changing that. Like, obviously, the, the main characters are going to be there because the show's named after them. And that makes sense. But a lot of the more, you know, well-known characters or side characters in those shows, like, they can be really killed off at any point. Like, I'm expecting Isabel or Laurent to definitely die at some point here in season two. So, yeah, just a really incredible scene, though. I just wanted to mention that because I saw it here and I was like, you know what, I'm going to talk about this. I think I might actually watch this episode again. So I want to finish season five and maybe, you know, get into season six a little bit. But I might just go back and, like, check out all the best Daryl and Carol episodes and, like, review all of them. And, uh, yeah, just to sort of, you know, build up the hype and whatnot for the show's premiere in just 28 days. It's literally four weeks from now. In a couple of days, we're going to be saying, oh, it's three and a half weeks away. Like, it's going to pick up here really fast in terms of promotion. And I do think there's going to be a trailer at some point this week. Like, we're just that close to the show's premiere now that... I 
it makes sense. Like, you're going to release a trailer the month that the show's coming out. Like, yeah, obviously, right? Like, you have to start promoting it right away. Like, if there's no trailer in the next two weeks and we're literally two weeks away, I mean, that's really definitely unfortunate because I feel like you should, you know, promote the show that much, especially when you're within the month of the show premiering, right? So, yeah, I mean, I expect a lot of that to happen this month anyways because that's what happened with The Ones Who Live and with Dead City and with Daryl Dixon as well before and for season one, right? So, yeah, but I'll end this in saying that definitely, you know, be careful for spoilers for season three. I'm definitely trying to avoid it, but it is definitely very hard to, to avoid a lot of it. That's just sort of, you know, I guess that's one of the things that's a little interesting, you know, in terms of them filming season three before season two even comes out. I mean, I think it's smart, definitely. You know, it really shows how confident they are in The Walking Dead Daryl Dixon that they're doing that because they can have all of season three filmed in the next couple of months that after Daryl Dixon ends, I mean, they're probably going to promote Dead City at that point, but they could show off something for season three, right? Like they could actually do something like that. So um, yeah, I don't know. But but yeah, I'm going to leave it here. I just wanted to talk about, you know, some of the things that I missed over the last couple of days and uh, tomorrow is Monday. So I'll get started on a lot of Walking Dead content and whatnot and breaking down all the latest information. There's going to be so much stuff happening this month. This video was more of a hype video for the fact that, yeah, Daryl Dixon's premiering this month. We're officially now, at least to me anyways, in Halloween season, in the Walking Dead season. So yeah, definitely post all your thoughts down below. Hope you guys all enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you